My name is David Soloveitchik, and I'd like to tell you about recent work that my colleagues and I published in the journal Science. I'm a computer scientist and electrical engineer, but I'm interested in programming with molecules, not electronics. Our cells are like these microscopic robots that, instead of electronics, operate with chemical microcontrollers built from really sophisticated molecular machines. We want to eventually to be able to reprogram these or learn how to build such weird robots from scratch. We know how to program electronic robots to do things like chase a ball, but how do we program molecules to carry out complex tasks? The problem is that we can't put an electronics microcontroller into a cell, so we need to figure out how to engineer molecules that can make decisions and act by themselves. In our research, we developed a molecular programming language and a molecular compiler that takes this molecular programming language and it codes up the molecular hardware. As molecular hardware, we use DNA. People mostly think of DNA as this static carrier of genetic information, genes, and that proteins do all the work. But in DNA nanotechnology, we make molecular machines out of DNA itself. It actually turns out that DNA is much easier to work with. Out of DNA, we can make molecular machines that take input and produce output. When we first learn a computer programming language, we write a hello world program. Okay, well, this is chemistry and we need a different kind of hello world program. What can we start with? We decided to start with programming a chemical oscillator. What's a chemical oscillator? Simply put, it's a chemical system that exhibits some kind of periodic behavior over time. You may have seen a demonstration like this in high school chemistry. You mix certain chemicals together, and the color keeps on changing back and forth and back and forth over time. This is a classic chemical oscillator called the briggs rauscher reaction in this case. And here it goes again. Besides cool to look at, chemical oscillators are also really important. Certain forms of certain molecules are higher at night than during the day, and that's how our body gets tired during the night and awake during the day. Jet lag occurs when this chemical oscillator gets off sync with the actual day-night cycle when you travel and needs to be reset. So for a Hello World molecular program, we set out to build a chemical oscillator. To program a new chemical oscillator, we started with this molecular program. We can think of it as kind of playing rock, paper, scissors in chemistry. If we think of A, B, and C as rock, paper, and scissors respectively, the first instruction says that paper beats rock. The second says that scissors beats paper, and the third that rock beats scissors. And because they beat each other in the cycle, the overall system has this repeating periodic behavior, A, B, C, A, B, C, and so forth. Okay, so if we can find some molecules, A, B, and C, that work like that, we'll get an oscillator. But we don't know what A, B, and C should be. Our compiler solves this problem by designing DNA molecular machines that play this game. Depending on whether rock, paper, or scissors is winning, the chemical system changes color. Now, the color change is too subtle to be seen by eye, but we can use this instrument called a spectrofluorimeter to record and plot the color change. And we can infer that the oscillations occur as we program them to. The big picture is that we're beginning to think about chemical behavior as something that can be programmed. We can imagine that synthetic chemical oscillators like ours could one day be used in synthetic biology or completely artificial cells to ensure that certain things happen before others. I think also the neat thing about making all of this out of DNA is that it informs our understanding of the origins of life. There is this theory that first all life was made out of nucleic acids and nothing else. Ours is the first oscillator made of DNA alone, and it suggests that DNA might be capable of doing a lot more than what we imagined. Thank you for watching.